Welcome my dear students. Let us revise some of the topics that may appear for your university exams. One of such topic is network topology. What is network topology? It is the physical arrangements of nodes in a computer network. The major factors that are to be considered while selecting a network topology are reliability, ease of installation, ease of troubleshooting, price, scalability of network, bandwidth capacity, delay in routing and information from one node to another. The various computer network topologies are star topology, bus topology, ring topology, mesh topology, tree topology and hybrid topology. On the mesh topology we can again categorize as completely interconnected mesh topology or partially interconnected topology. What is star topology? Star topology is a topology in which all the components in the network are connected with a central device. All the components in the network are connected to a central device. The central device can either be a switch or a router or a hub. Each and every workstations or computers or devices in the network are connected to the central device in a point-to-point -point connection manner. So in order to send a data from a particular device, to another device, initially the data need to be passed to the central device and only from the central device it can be routed back to the destination. This is what star topology is. And the advantages of a star topology is it is easy to add or remove nodes in a star topology. And the entire network is controlled by a central device. And though the controlling by a central device is an advantage, it's also a disadvantage. If the central node fails, the entire network fails to work. And there's a chance for heavy traffic near the central device. And what's the next topology? It is bus topology. And in case of bus topology, all the nodes and devices are connected to a same transmission line in a sequential way. And this transmission line can be named as backbone of this topology or backbone of this network. Advantages of bus topology or uh, it is simple and a low cost topology. Here also it is easy to add or remove nodes. Another major advantage of bus topology is that it needs shorter cable as compared to other topologies. Disadvantages are here also there can be risk if a single point gets failed or if its common transmission line fails, the entire network may fail. If the network traffic is heavy or the number of nodes are more, the performance of network degrades. And there is also a limit in case of cable length. 
next important topology is ring topology a ring topology can be defined as that topology in which all devices connect indirectly through an interface device or directly to the ring the different nodes are connected in form of a circle in this type of network topology in ring topology packets of data travel from one device to the next until they reach their destination for example in order to send data from this node to this node it is transmitted to its one of its neighbor then the neighbor transmit data to its next neighbor and in that manner it reaches the destination node most of the ring topologies allow packets to travel only in one direction so they are called unidirectional ring network and some may permit data to move in either direction so they can be called as bidirectional ring network the advantages of ring topology are transmitting network is not affected by high traffic or it is not by affected by adding more nodes to the ring and it is cheap to install a ring network and to expand expand means to add more nodes to a ring network disadvantages are troubleshooting is difficult in ring topology and adding or deleting a particular node may disturb network activity for some time and even failure of one computer may disturb the whole network next important topology is mesh topology in mesh topology each node is connected to every other nodes present in the network it can be either partially connected or completely connected in case of completely connected each and every nodes or devices are connected to each other in the network but in case of partial mesh topology or partially connected mesh topology only some devices are connected to each other there may be few devices which are not interconnected in this category of network and the messages can be transmitted from one node to another either using some routing techniques or some flagging technique in mesh topology the advantages of mesh topology it is fully connected almost all nodes in the network are connected to each other and each connection can carry its own data load so a one node need to send data to some other nodes it doesn't need to wait it is a robust network fault can be easily diagnosed it provides high security and privacy compared to other topologies disadvantages are installation and configuration is bit difficult and the cost of cabling is high since bulk wiring is required the next topology a strip topology here there is a root node and all other nodes are connected to it forming a hierarchy so it's called a hierarchical topology a tree network topology can also be defined as combination of star networks connected to each other it's a best option when the star and bus networks can't be implemented due to some scalability 
issues. Advantages. It's an extension of buzz or star topology. Expansion of nodes is possible and it is easy. This network can be easily managed and maintained. Even fault detection or error detection can be easily done. Disadvantages are heavily cable. The number of wires or cables needed are more. It's costly to network. If more nodes are added, the maintenance become more difficult. Here also there is a central hub or a road. And if the central hub fails, the entire network fails. The last one is a hybrid topology. It is a combination or mixture of two or more topologies. It's used in many organizations. Of one department of an organization is following ring topology. And some others are using a star topology. Connecting these two may be required. Where you can use or implement this hybrid topology. Advantages are it's reliable since error detection and troubleshooting are easy, effective, scalable and flexible. Disadvantage it's costly and the designing is very complex. So these are the major points that is to be studied and remembered while learning computer topology. Thank you.